Hello and welcome to yet another video on Adil Azmat Cockpit. In today's video, I am going to briefly talk about um, the misconceptions that arose out of my uh, last video in which I talked about the reason why Pakistan Air Force uh, was going for Jet and Cs when we already have the JF-17 Thunder Block 3 uh, with all the capabilities uh, that it has with the AZR radars, uh, with the upgraded avionics, uh, with the HMDs, the helmet mounted displays. Why is it that we are still going for jet and Cs? Uh, I read a few of the comments and they were suggesting to me that perhaps I failed to do the thesis uh, of uh, the statement. But I'd, I'd like to go further. What I wanted to say, and now I am again reiterating the fact that Today's warfare, today's battle scenario is not about getting in different machines from different parts of the world. For example, there, there are the European platforms. When you are talking of the Typhoon, when you are talking about the Rafales, we are talking about the European platforms. When we are talking about F-15s, F-16s, F-A-18 Hornets, uh, we are talking about the American platforms. When we are talking about... Uh, the MiG-29s, the Su-30s, uh, flankers, uh, we are basically talking of the Russian platforms and we are, when we are talking about the JF-17s and JNCs, we are talking about the Chinese platforms. When you go as uh, a purchaser, you do not go for individual aircrafts and the number of the individual aircrafts. You, you buy platforms. Uh, you tend to think of the unit as member of those platforms. For example, if the Indian Air Force has bought uh, this um, wonderful aircraft, which is Rafale, it's going to go deeper into the deal. It's going to procure more Rafales. And perhaps in future, it's, go it's going to go on with European platforms. If it goes into the American platforms, if it goes into F-15s and F-16s, well, uh, because the platforms have got the AVAX uh, integrated with them. When, for example, Pakistan enters into the Chinese market and gets the JF-17 Block 3, it was pretty evident that J-10C is also going to be in the list. It's not that because I read one of the comments, it, it said that because Pakistan was not getting the F-16s. That's one of the reasons why Pakistan went for j and c I don't believe. Because getting more of the F-16s into Pakistan Air Force um, without much of a support from the US would mean that there will be a lot of difficulty in integrating F-16s with the present AVAX, with the present, uh, you know, electronic warfare Falcons that we have got and with, with all the radars that uh, we have got. So they could not be integrated. One of the reasons why Pakistan went for j and c and a very wise decision for going into the j and c was that now we are looking in, in the future, we are looking for a platform in which the AVAX, which is, uh, which is Chinese, in which the refueling that is done uh, by the aircrafts, uh, they are the Chinese, they have got the avionics there, uh, the AVAX, the refuelers, uh, the electronic jammers, uh, all of the platforms, they are going to be one. They're, they're, they're going to be Chinese and uh, all of them, it will be easier to integrate them into one, one pack. So there is no point in getting more of the F-16s. I know that F-16s are very capable aircraft, especially Block 70. But again, when you cannot integrate, this is not the battle scenario of 60s and 70s and 80s and even 90s where multiple platforms can, uh, by ap applying different tactics in, in a battle scenario, they can, they can outmatch the other because there is a lot of dogfight that is going on. Now, because of the BVR capability, because of the radar jamming, abilities because of so many assets going into the battle it's not just the fighter jets that go into the battle remember it's not the fighter jets fighter jets are a part of the of the punch perhaps the bigger part of the punch but there is a real force behind it so we know that the jf-17s uh, went there the mirages went there 
uh, similarly uh, when on the indian side there was not just the mirages uh, 2000 mirage 2000 there were also the uh, the su30 uh, su30s there were also the mig 20 uh, 29s there were also the mig 29s and each and there was the mig 21 as well so every asset plays a role in a battle scenario so one of the reason why why j10 c was inducted and uh, more of these are going to come in the uh, in the future more of these are going to come in the future is because pakistan in the future is going for the chinese platform so that for a better integration of all of the assets in one platform and making a power punch the chinese are really good in artificial intelligence they are very good in integrating their assets uh, into one punch so once the air force gets all of the assets integrated into one punch it has got it has got more lethality it adds to the lethality of the force uh, by the way <clears throat> it also opens up opportunities of getting into the market of the future stealth aircrafts that chinese can provide uh, so i believe that the uh, so i believe that the decision to get the jet and seas along with the jf17 thunder block 3 is a very wise uh, decision by the pakistan air force uh, this is a market that is uh, very much uh, accessible to pakistan in terms of uh, the ability to purchase and the ability to maintain and uh, well uh, i wish pakistan air force best of luck in doing that thank you